What's up guys? Back for another one here. As you can tell by the title, we have a new wheel bearing to put in. So, this is what she looks like. The link is down in the description. FCP Euro sells a kit. So you come with the, the new hub, right, bearing, whatever, this whole assembly. Comes with the new axle bolt, which is a 24 millimeter socket, if it'll ever focus. Boom, 24 mil. And then the three that hold the actual hub to the knuckle, you see this guy, comes with Loctite already on them. There's three of these. It is an M24 triple square, whatever you want to call it. So there's that. He said it comes with a kit. Boom. I got two of them uh, just in case. But like I said, they're lifetime warranty. So you install this, it goes bad. Take it off, send it to them. They send you another one for free. Um, so with that being said, I had this intermittent issue <clears throat> for quite some time. My issue was every so often I would get um, my tire pressure light would come on and when I would go to try and store the tires in the infotainment menu, it would say tire pressure unable to be stored. And it would do this for like maybe two or three key cycles and it would go away randomly. And then on the highway on cruise control, I have cruise control set and just going, going, going and it would just shut cruise control off and I get that little orange cruise control light. Both of these, like these two intermittent issues together um, make it possible for you to be getting a bad wheel bearing. How do I know that that's what it is? So this surface right here is what the ABS sensor reads. It reads the wheel speed off of this and that's also uh, wheel speed somehow is calculated to know tire pressure because different tire pressures will rotate at different speeds and it's able to calculate that and uh, tell the car that hey you have an offset tire pressure. So my axle bolt actually came loose right and uh it caused play so it was it wasn't able to read this sensor anyway it destroyed itself so i will show you the difference here once i pull the other one off it shouldn't take very long or be very hard um i mean they, they these are extremely torqued down i don't know the torque values offhand i might have to look those up real quick and i will let you know but uh yeah other than your wheel itself you got four bolts total Three to the hub, one, two, three, and then the axle bolt itself. So let's get to it. So first things first here, I got a breaker bar on the axle, but it's gonna spin unless you have something to prevent it from spinning. So I got a nice tool here. Stick it up into the rotor. Don't mind my mess on the floor. I'm gonna stick it right there. And now we have leverage to uh, break this nut loose or the bolt. It's gonna probably take some good effort here. Let me see. That is a thought. All right, so I'm gonna take it out some, and I'm gonna whack it with a hammer so it pushes the axle out of the hub. I don't have any DIYs to follow for this, so uh, I mean, I probably could have Googled it, YouTubed it, but I like figuring things out on my own. Pretty simple ordeal here. I said you unscrew it a little bit and you can see now the axle is nice and loose. It's pushing back on me. So now I can remove the bolt, pull the axle out the back, then we can get to the uh, three bolts on the back side, get the hub out. Well, I'm a dummy. It's a little bit more involved than what I thought. I don't know what I was thinking. Um, lack of sleep, I don't know. So the brake caliper and rotor have to come off and then the three bolts that hold the uh, this whole assembly to the control arm got to come off because um, the wheel hub pulls out from the front. I was thinking it, it pulls out the back for some reason. I don't know. So I got a whatever this is, 13 mil to take the brake rotor off or the brake caliper. Then we'll get the rotor off um, and the three bolts on the bottom. And then we'll pull the assembly apart with that uh, M12. Should be pretty simple. I had to. Go and look at a video because I was confused. Whatever. Eat. So these, this bolt and this bolt are on there pretty tight. I had to turn the wheel 
out some and then stand on my uh, my tool to get it to break loose. And you also want to disconnect, this is the passenger side, the uh, brake pad wear sensor here, because you're gonna take this whole, this whole bracket off. Next up, you wanna get these three nuts off. It's a 16 mil, then we'll drop the arm, pull this up and out, that way we can uh, pull the axle out. All right, once you get those three nuts off the bottom and pull the control arm, off you can pull the axle out this whole thing kind of opens up like a door towards you and you can see those three nice shiny spots here that's where i took out those three m12s now i pop the rotor off and pull the hub out the video might make this seem a little bit easier i had to go in the car turn the wheel to get leverage to get to the back of the brake um caliper carrier and then i kind of had to jack the car up more put it on a jack stand to get the jack on the control arm a little bit to lift it up to, to like kind of get this ball joint sitting right in there and give it a couple taps with a hammer from under to get the control arm to, to drop. So um, I'd set aside like an hour and a half, two hours to get this done if it's your first time and you're not too confident. Uh, it hasn't taken me that long to get here, but it can be a kind of a pain in the ass to line everything up just right to get everything out. And then if you have any other stuck bolts or anything along the way, you want to have a brush as well to clean off the rust we can take the rotor and the hub off and uh, maybe some brake cleaner in there as well definitely all right so hub is out and you can see this debris sitting in there it's like a rubbery substance you can actually take the sensor out and look down in there um, and this is where I could see that rubbery stuff and that gave me the indication that this is what the problem was so Get a good look here, where all of this is missing now. That's what that sensor reads for your wheel speed. You can see how much better this one looks. So, this is definitely the culprit. Yep, time to install a new one. All right, I got most of it back together. So the three bolts for the hub, uh, you're looking at 52 foot-pounds. For the big bolts on the back of this caliper carrier, 147 foot-pounds axle bolt, another 52 foot-pounds. Um, the control arm bolts, I'm not sure. I'll have to look them up. I'll link them. I'll type it here in the video. Um, I'm not sure what these ones are either for the rest of the caliper. I mean, just snug them down, really, but I'll try and look it up as well. Um, everything goes together back the way it came off. But what I'm going to do, I'm going to use the old axle bolt and tighten it down some just to make sure the axle's pulled up here the whole way. And then I'll take it off and then switch to the new bolt. It already has Loctite on it. Tighten it down. Then I'll get in the car, clear the codes, go for a drive, and hopefully this is fixed. I also found uh, from the last track day my, uh, what's it called here, brake pad wear sensor like melted out. So I had to like shove it back in there. My pads are pretty much beat. I'm still waiting on this dude to like get back to me about buying his brakes. I don't even think I'm gonna have enough time or money now before I deploy to get them installed and, and running, but I'm gonna have to just buy a big brake kit when I'm deployed, I guess. It'll be another another purchase to, to take care of. Well, test drive was good. I'm very happy. Damn, I left my beer out there. Um, <laughs> test drive's good, very good. No more dash lights, cleared everything, went for a good, nice extended drive. Uh, Jerk the steering wheel around a bit. No lights, so I'm happy. What I don't like is I'm so used to not having power steering now, which wasn't bad at all. Like, it's not extremely heavy whatsoever, but now even on race mode is like half the weight of not having power steering on. So, uh, don't really like that. It's like way too easy to rip the steering wheel around. And I put it to comfort just to see the difference. And that is just so numb and light blows my mind. I need to do like a power steering delete or something because <laughs> I like it way better without uh, any steering assist. feels a lot more raw. I can feel feel more in control. But uh, yeah, everything's good. Any uh, questions, comments, concerns, drop them down below. Like I said, the link for this is down below. It's through FCP, so if it ever goes bad, you send it to them, get a replacement for free. You just pay for shipping. Um, so shout out to them. And uh, yeah, I'm just glad my car's good now. I got two race events this weekend, so uh, hopefully everything stays good. Anyway, 
Thanks for watching. I'll catch you on the flip flop.